Your tank, you're the first guy in there. How do you look for people with subjugate? Who do you want to drop that on in a team fight situation? Well, it depends on who's closer to you. Like, if there's a squishy right next to you that everyone can target, then you can just kill that guy really quick. But mostly, you want to use it on tank. Like, it's uh, used commonly on Mundo now since Mundo's played a lot of top lane, and since Mundo's known for being really hard to kill on tanky in team fight, you just uh. He, when he runs in uh, against everyone, you just ult him with subjugate, and everyone just focuses him, and he dies really quick. So and then Trinal becomes a raid boss too. Yeah. Oh god. That's 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 my nightmare, and that's why I asked about it. Because I mean, you just it's it's easily one of the worst things uh, that I can think of to run into, especially as sort of a frontliner. You go in there, and you're like, ha ha, and then Trundle comes uh, bumbling in, catches you with the subjugate, and and makes your life just absolutely terrible. So to back it up. Um, a little bit too. Uh, let's just hop back over to Pillar of Ice. Talk a little bit about that. How do you think about Pillar of Ice uh, from a team fight perspective? Obviously, not quite an Anivia wall. You're not going to be able to sort of entirely lock people off. Say you're in an open field sort of a team fight situation. Where are you going to want to throw down that Pillar of Ice? Pillar of Ice can be used for poking. Like if you have a poke team comp, you can just shoot it and then uh, they get poked because they can't really move that much. Or you can also use it for. Engage because you can slow the squishies and then like Shirelios and then go on them because they get stuck sometimes and yeah you can just stop their movement with that then do stuff off that yeah good times right there and we're moving on right now they gave me a nice little list it's my first time doing this so uh, I got a nice little list uh, we're gonna roll it on through uh, skill order now uh, what do we max in what order and uh, give us a little information on on the thought process behind you know, uh, the, the sort of major points. What are we going to hit first? What's our sort of level three skill going to be? Are we going to jump it over, get QWE all at once, uh, and things like that? What the fuck? Uh, I go QW and then QE. Holy shit. Man. Just for, I go third on the Q so he can have more harass damage and more AD bonus. So you're going to want to play it generally aggressive fairly early on, at least in a yeah. situation. Yeah, and... uh. Just grabbing Pillar on the uh, level 4. And then after that, you max Q, and then W, and then E. Okay. So I mean, R whenever you yeah, can pillars, get it. Pillar's kind of a utility thing. Frozen Domain and Chomp going to really allow you to hold your own on the lane. Is that, is that, I'm, that Assuming that's the basic idea? Yeah. 